Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the scatter plot matrix that you can create with the help of the pandas library. So as you can see I am I am showing you here right now the scatter plot matrix. So in, on the x axis if you see there is sales, discount, profit, all of those different numerical variables. The same numerical variables you will see here on the y axis. And the benefit is that that in just one simple graph you are able to see the overview of how your different variables are correlated with each other. So for example in case of let's say this showing a linear relationship so as you know the sales uh, and the profit is showing the linear relationship they are going high when the uh, profit is increasing the sales is also increasing. So, or vice versa, you can say that sales is increasing and profit is also increasing and uh, basically try to see whether any correlation exists or not. So, for example, in case of uh, unit price and uh, in case of discount, doesn't seem to be a, a correlation. Similarly, in case of profit and discount, similarly in case of this this uh, unit profit unit price and discount like shipping cost and discount doesn't seems to be a you know visible linear relationship same is the case if you see the histograms these are all the histograms which are diagonally presented for this matrix uh, doesn't show that uh, there is a, a normal distribution but they are skewed either to the mostly towards the left side so so how we can basically go ahead and create it within the Python notebook? I'll just show you in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are on a scatter plot matrix. So if I just come here and get import pandas as pt and to get the plot in line, I will just use percentage mat plot live in line. So does the spelling okay after that let's get our data set so here we are with our data set which what we are seeing is with the help of pandas library pd which is read.excel this is the path of the file that we need to access and uh, zero is basically indicating that we want to access the first sheet which is the orders sheet and then we are storing all of this data here in the orders object. All right. After that, uh, let me show you the first couple of observations, maybe just two. Yeah. So here we have, uh, you know, the sales, the discount, you know, profit, unit price, all of those uh, values. So if I show you all the columns. I can use orders dot columns and here my all the columns are over here and uh, if I want to know how many total rows and columns which are present then I can use the shape so we know that now 8399 rows are present and 21 columns if I want more information about these uh, different columns then I can use info function which will give me that for row ID how many rows are there whether it's a null or a non null and then the what is the uh, whether it is a float integer date time what it is so some useful functions you will always use uh, in, in every analysis just to get the idea about your data set okay now Let's come to the business with the scatter plot metric. So the first thing is um, saying pd dot scatter underscore matrix, and within that, if I show you some of the columns that we need to fill. So for example, uh, we need to say frame, alpha, figure size, and uh, you know different parameters: grid, diagonal by default histogram all of those options are default present so let's go ahead and uh, try to create the histogram uh, the scatter matrix with the default parameters so what we will do in this case is uh, we will write orders dot loc 
or maybe yeah LOC is good and uh, we want all the rows and then we want columns from uh, from let's say over here we have sales discount then profit then unit price and shipping cost so let's go ahead and write sales colon and then shipping cost covering all of the so what it does basically this is scatter matrix just picks up all the numerical columns which are there it will not pick the ship mode which is coming in between of the discount and profit and will just show sales discount profit unit price and shipping cost even after that if you would have any variable over here after a couple of uh, object variable which contains the textual data it would have skipped that and uh, gave us back the uh, numerical columns all right so this is about uh, the basic you know uh, information that you need to provide so let me hit shift enter and let's see what it produces. okay all right I here so here we are with this plot and here we have our scatter plot now the issue is that uh, this plot is not properly sized so what we can do is we can go back again up there and uh, one of the parameter if i show you after comma i'm pressing shift tab tab and uh, the fix size i'm using the fix size to change the size of this figure and maybe i want let's say 12 comma 10 and now let me press again shift enter and now let's see how it is coming so if i go down okay now it's coming a bit better if i just remove the header now the, all of my columns are coming. So with that, you can basically experiment uh, fix size uh, parameter that what is the figure size that you need. Okay, so 12, 10, maybe you just want uh, 6, 10 or 10, 6, depends on your requirement. You can play around and get it done. Let's see another parameter which is very interesting. Right now, if you see, uh, for this diagonal uh, representation we have the histogram but uh, there is a uh, you know option which you can change to a more visually aesthetic um, you know uh, the diagram which is kde kernel density estimation so let's go ahead and see that so uh, i'll just copy the previous code so that i don't have to write it again or maybe here itself I can change. Now D, if I say diagonal, by default if I show you by pressing shift tab tab, uh, this parameter diagonal is basically histogram. So you can change it to KTE. Let's shift enter. It will take a couple of seconds. Now it is there. And here now you have the KDE which shows much better uh, information as compared to the histogram about the distribution of data. It's clearly seeing that here is a peak and then we are seeing that when the values are starting they are at top but right on this point it is going up to the down. So that basically you know um, give us an indication that what's, what's really going on with the data. So for example here so it's a weird chart and over here it's going up and then finally going down what's really going over here is there any pattern that it is revealing or any information uh, inside the data that that uh, you know you you are about to explore or you should explore so that's how you can change the kde um, apart from that uh, it has as you have must have seen if i'm press going here and pressing shift tab tab Again, it has uh, like marker, basic one, alpha, very, very basic one, density KWS, histo, hist KWS, range pairing, all of those different parameters that you have 
and you can actually go to the documentation of uh, of this uh, scattered matrix if you really want to go deep down and try to understand all of these parameters which basically you can you know utilize to create um, an impressive and uh, better scatter matrix but the idea was that i am giving you the quick overview of scatter matrix about how you can use it but i find it very useful i always create this metric whenever i am doing any data analysis or any data science project so that's pretty much about it and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic